much are you willing to sacrifice? To suffer. I have given up everything. Not everything. I know what you fear, Tony. The ring can enslave the minds of men. We must hold to our purpose, no matter what the cost. I will not let them be slaughtered like my brothers at the Black Gate. We need to build our army. This is just the beginning. Sauron will not stop until all of Middle Earth is dominated. We do not serve the Dark Lord! We will take this land for our own! You fight for Mordor! You fight for the Bright Lord! new devilry is this? I come for you, Towers of Gondor. Try not to kill him too quickly. New ring. Our ring. It's not marred with his shadow. It is perfect. I strike down men corrupted by these rings. Do not become one of them. When the time comes, I will do what is needed. Submit to your destiny. Run to your master and give him this message. I come for him. Tried to humiliate me. You left your mark on me, but it didn't work. You burned my mind. Die. I'll kill you. Until this moment, you have not known suffering. I've had enough of your mouth, Bruce. So now I'm gonna kill you. For all these orcs to see. I always said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. <laughs> In Shadow of Mordor, we introduced a way to create unique, personal stories for every player. And in Shadow of War, we're expanding the Nemesis system. Two new features we're really excited about are forging an army of followers and Nemesis fortresses. Here, we'll use the Ring of Power and recruit this Olog, Bruce the Chopper, to expand our army. Then, we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. That was nasty! Oi! Reckon you're going to skewer me? Ah, that little sword's good for a tickle, maybe. But you're gonna need more than that to take me down! 
Nice one, Ranger! Same thing, really. End result's me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say-so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain and deadly smart, which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? So we already have a few loyal followers in our army, and recruiting Bruce means we're ready to assault the fortress and overthrow the Overlord. We're enormously expanding the open world of Mordor to new regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Mordor's a massive, living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes, and wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You cleave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine! No! So we've just been ambushed by the machine. He's tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's one of the seven new Orc oh, tribes we've added. The machine will grind you to paste! I hate big sticks! Cool, finally! Dishonor the Stelius! Instead of killing the machine, we'll I dominate him so we can take advantage of his abilities during the fortress assault. You take out the Overlord. But before we charge headfirst into battle, we should plan our attack and select our followers. Focus on the defenders. Define focus.
we bring this war to them. Lord.